He lay on his stomach. His lean, muscular body was still and motionless. Too still. He was only 19. I walked around the table and saw that part of his face was blown away. His life's blood dripped, slowly echoing in the room, into a bucket on the floor, a bucket of blood, his young face mutilated by his own hand. He wanted to live for her, then he wanted to die. So he took his shotgun and held it under his chin. But at the last split second, he wanted to live again. It was too late. His finger had pulled the trigger, and he couldn't pull the gun away fast enough. His eyes were glazed over, locked into the horror of what he had done. The doctors quietly discussed what to do with him. What could they do for someone whose pain had driven him to such desperate measures to escape the heartache that he had found? Instead of his true love, that he had dreamed of, had prayed and cried for, to fill the empty places in his heart. What could he do with his life so drastically changed? What could any of us do 